Avengers. Well, here with a new video. Um, today I'll be teaching you guys how to add custom skins to Yandere Simulator. I did a video on how to add custom students, and there were a lot of people asking why my Yandere Chan had blue eyes. It was because I used a custom skin. So I'll teach you guys. Why is this here? I'll teach you guys how to add custom skins to Yandere Simulator. So let's go. That that was an awkward transition. Oh well. So you're just gonna type in Yandere Simulator custom skins, and I usually go look on Deviant Art since they have really good custom skins here, and they look so freaking pretty. <laughs> this is gonna take me a while to find a one I like. So you could just like look through here and once you find a skin you like click it so i found this really cute like music club skin it was made by xx hime sama xx and she made the occult club skin and the cooking club skin so you could go check those out on deviant art so the download button would usually be over here on the side but if it's not it would be in their little description bio thing and you can download it over there for me, my download link is over here on the side, so make sure it's a zip file, by the way, so you would just click it and open it, but since I already downloaded it, it would show up right here in your Yandere Simulator downloads and stuff, so yeah. So the skin you downloaded would be right here, and you could just open the file, and now you take this file and put it into Yandere Simulator data and then whoop, take it and bring it into streaming assets and now you go there go to file again take everything out of the file okay what the heck yeah unzip the file and take everything out to take, them, to take them out, just press copy, and then paste it over here. So the picture should show up instead of the, um, whatever it's called. Instead of, like, the words or whatever. So once you see your custom skin, it'll probably be easy to recognize it. You have to, it might be named as something else, so you have to change it to custom long if it's hair like custom long hair and if you're doing like a custom face then you would change this to custom face up here just custom face nothing else and then if you're doing a swimsuit custom swimsuit custom sweater cust a custom sweater and custom uniform would just be changed to custom uniform so you probably get the point by now so now that we have it in the files we could go back whoop too far too far and open up Yandere Simulator. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So here we go. And so just boot up the game like you normally would. And. And then you go into the game. And your skin should be there. It's not there right now because you have to change it like when you're actually playing the game, when you're actually at the school. So we'll go to school right now. Go, Yonchan, go. Alright. So here is the skin. You might have to like go to a different uniform, like press F2 or something, or F3 just to change the uniform. Come on. Alright, here it is. Yay! So this is the uniform, the custom skin I downloaded, and you can change the hairstyles. This one didn't come with, like, a different colored hair or anything, but some of them do, so, yeah. Yay! I'm just happy we got this to work on the first try, because usually, for me, that doesn't happen. So now she looks completely different, and I love it! So yeah, that was how to download a custom skin. Wee! Well, more mostly a custom uniform. But yeah, this video was just short. If you have any any questions, just put it down in the comments. 
So, yeah. I'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching.